Hi, it's Richard here from the Siebel Hub. In this new video in the What's New in Siebel 15 series, we're going to look at a simple web tool scenario where we create a new field on a business component and then we display this field in an applet. The business component we're going to use for this demonstration is Opportunity. So in the list applet I will select the Opportunity business component via a query. For reference purposes, those of you who are used to Siebel tools as a Windows application will notice that the list applet contains all the fields and all the properties that we would normally see, including whether the object is locked or not. For the purposes of speed, I've already locked the Opportunity Business component here in Web Tools. Now from the second list applet, the fields list, I will create a new record and we'll call it something like a new field. It's not a calculated field. It's going to use a standard extension table, sopti underscore x, and I'm going to pick one of the standard columns. Because of the amount of data in this list applet, when I was first doing this demonstration to uh, myself, I realized that it's very easy to lose data columns. So uh, when you're using this list applet, make sure that you can find for example, you'll notice that the join column has a lining to the right, and so does the column column, which makes them very hard to see unless you have spaced the columns out sufficiently. So I'll commit that data, and now I have my new field created. I'll just do a second query to make sure that I haven't already used this column in another field. No. Good. So now I have my business layer metadata created. I can proceed to the applet object and I'm going to update an existing applet for the purposes of this demonstration. I'm going to query for the opportunity list applet. You will notice, as well as the standard properties, there is now a responsive property. The responsive property tells me that this applet has had all of its metadata, including the web templates, migrated to the new architecture. And only these can be used for our demonstrations in the Siebel Composer Developer Preview. Having selected the applet and chosen the list and list column object, I'm now going to create a new list column. To make it easy on myself, I'm going to copy an existing column so that all of the standard properties like show available and show in list are already set. I'm going to create a new column, list column, and I'm going to select my new field. If you do this as a demo, uh, make sure that you don't forget that you also need to change the display name of your list column. Having completed this part of the configuration, now I'm going to go to the Applet Web Template object and I'm going to select the Edit List Web Template for our Opportunity List Applet. And I'm going to add a new Applet Web Template item. Those of you who are long-time Siebel Web Template configurators will know that item identifiers follow strict numbering conventions. So, for example, list columns have an item identifier greater than 500. By sorting the data, I can easily identify that there is a missing number between 523 and 525, and this will be an ideal place for me to place my applet web template item as part of the existing list. I'm going to create a new record give my new applet web template item a name. Make sure before you choose your applet web template item you select type list item first so then the pick applet will show you only the list columns. 
I select my list column, enter the item identifier that we found earlier, and complete any other properties, such as the template item holder name, which we'll create as a unique value, including our item identifier. So our configuration work is now complete, and we are ready to publish our work and observe the changes, for example, in Siebel Call Center. Administration Runtime Configuration. We'll skip over that for the purposes of Hollywood-style rapid ending, and we'll go to My Opportunities. Looking in the List Applet, we can see that the Hub New Field is displayed as we expected, and it is correctly configured as a list column, so in Columns Displayed, we are able to move it around as we would expect. I hope you enjoyed this short demonstration of WebTools Siebel Composer Developer Preview, and I look forward to seeing you again in the next one. In the meantime, take care.